So former rapper by the name of Mace nearly flatlines LeBum James Jr. aka Bronny James who will go down as the worst second round pick in all the And speaking of the name Mace, I wish that I could spray Mace in the eyes at LeBum James and his trash son LeBum James Jr. Now Mace goes on record and states the truth. But it seems as though everybody's afraid of the truth. As if the truth is now forbidden. It now feels like in this world thou shall not tell the truth. But the rapper Mace states that Kobe Bryant wouldn't want for Bronny James just to get it that easy. Be able to just get drafted that easy. Kobe Bryant would want for LeBum James Jr. to earn it the hard way. I'm saying Kobe would have made him earn it. Well, Mace, you're thinking on the same accord as anyone else with a sensible brain. Nobody feels like Bronny James earned it. Bronny James was delivered here from the Lord to be a bus. That's it. God sent Bronny here to be a bus. So it's safe to say that he's the chosen one. He was chosen specifically by God to be a bust. Ronnie James was hired for a job with no resume, without filling out a job application, without going through the interview process. And on top of that, Ronnie James is absolutely terrible in the field that he's trying to get in. He doesn't even know how to play basketball. Due to nepotism, the nepo baby, Ronnie James was fortunate enough to be able to be drafted with the 55th overall pick to the Los Angeles Lakers. And Rich Paul literally called every single team throughout the RBA and threatened them not to sign Bronny James. And the league has no problem with it at all. But you're absolutely right, Mace. Kobe Bryant would not approve. Kobe Bryant didn't respect LeBum James anyway. He wouldn't have respected his son being able to just have an easy ride to the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant didn't even want Lonzo Ball on the Lakers. And let's be clear, ladies and gentlemen, is Lonzo Ball not a better player than LeBron Bum James Jr.? Absolutely. LeBron James is who y'all hated LeVar Ball for being. And also, let's make this clear. LeBron James and Bronny are not the first father and son duo in the RBA. We already witnessed it, ladies and gentlemen. The first father-son duo was Delonte West and his son, LeBron James. Thank you, Gloria. Thank you. But since we're being truthful here, ladies and gentlemen, since we are confessing our sins, let's be totally honest here. Kobe Bryant not only would have not wanted for Bronny James to be able to have a easy road, an easy path to the Lakers, Kobe Bryant wouldn't have never wanted LeBron James on the Lakers in the first place. Kobe Bryant hated LeBum James' guts. You think that Kobe would have respected LeBum James winning a bubble championship? You think that Kobe Bryant would have respected LeBum James winning a RBA in-season tournament? A RBA cup? Kobe Bryant would have disliked a number of things that LeBum James has done thus far. It's not just Bronny James. Bronny James isn't respected throughout the league anyway. The rapper Mace was once featured on a song titled More Money, More Problems. But it's like with LeBron James on the Lakers, there isn't no more money, more problems. It's more losing more drama. Kobe Bryant isn't turning in his grave. He's actually turned over and is now face down in his grave. He doesn't even want to look at what's going on with the Los Angeles Lakers. Kobe Bryant is highly disappointed with Jeannie Buss and the decision making with the Los Angeles Lakers. Since LeBron James has joined the Lakers, there has been so much dysfunction. And nobody wants to talk about this, but have you noticed that no top free agent has wanted to join LeBron um, James, nobody is talking about that. Paul George, nope, he goes to the Philadelphia 76ers. Clay Thompson could have went back home, no pun intended to the rapper Mace, but he could have had his welcome back home moment. But no, Clay Thompson decided to go to the Dallas Mavericks and play with Luka Donkey and Kyrie Irving. Left LeBum James hanging in the dry. And truthfully, I think that LeBum James and his camp privately convinced Clay Thompson and all the marquee free agents to go elsewhere. Why? Why? Because then ultimately he'll get what he wanted, which was the coach that he wanted, 
which by the way, Kobe Bryant does not like this snake either in JJ Redick. So ultimately, LeBron James got what he wanted. He got the coach that he wanted. He's able to play with his son. He could fly up under the radar and people won't question if the man is on steroids, allegedly, which we all know he is. This man has been around and is the only player from his draft class still currently active. 21 years in the RBA and this man hasn't face a catastrophic injury that man is running like Forrest Gump when those things fell up off his legs Kobe Bryant is about to have an undertaker moment and return back from the dead on the Los Angeles Lakers because he's mind blown and disheartened and hurt by the decisions that the Lakers are making and I'm almost certain them dark quiet nights at the graveyard you could probably hear Kobe Bryant punching through the casket Six feet deep, punching through his casket at the fact that the Boston Celtics and Jason Tatum, a player who Kobe Bryant endorsed, and Jason Tatum, who he wanted the Lakers to draft. The Boston Celtics, who the Lakers had a rivalry with, won a real legitimate title, the 18th banner before the Los Angeles Lakers. Every time it's raining, that's Kobe Bryant crying.